The Mill Creek Metro Parks Board of Commissioners voted unanimously this evening to continue the legal process of extending the Metro Parks bikeway. The board voted to take the bikeway issue to the Ohio Supreme Court. Lawyers will ask the court to determine whether the Metro Parks can take property through eminent domain for recreational use. The bikeway to the Supreme Court. It is new at 10. After a 30 minute executive session, Mill Creek Metro Parks Executive Director Aaron Young read a prepared statement detailing the next step in the legal process to complete the Metro Parks bikeway. In an effort to see this 30 year initiative to completion and to also limit the risk of additional financial liability to the Metro Parks, it is apparent that we should accept the recommendation of the legal team to move forward with appealing the recent decision of the 7th District Court of Appeals to the Ohio Supreme Court. Young said that if the legal process was abandoned at this point, the Metro Parks would have to pay the legal fees for all remaining outstanding lawsuits. Young did not know what that amount would be. The Metro Parks would also have to return a $3.4 million federal grant, which would pay to extend the bikeway six miles from Western Reserve Road to the Columbiana County line. We feel pretty confident that, that the appellate court was wrong. Metro Parks lawyer Elizabeth Farbman believes the Ohio Supreme Court wants to see a case like this. In order to settle it once and for all across the state of Ohio as to the power of Metro Parks such as Mill Creek. The need to appeal to the Supreme Court came after a ruling last month by the 7th District Court of Appeals in the case of Diane Less, one of the 13 landowners whose land is needed to extend the bikeway. The appeals court ruled in favor of Less, stating that the Metro Parks could not take her land through eminent domain. Fardman outlined what the Supreme Court will be asked to do. And this specifically will speak to the right of Metro Parks to undertake eminent domain for the purposes of creating a recreational trail. The Metro Parks has already spent $336,000 in legal fees on the bikeway. Aaron Young did not know what the additional cost would be. Fordman did not know when the Supreme Court would hear the case. There was also discussion about the future of the McGuffey Wildlife Preserve in Coitsville Township. Once again, members of the William Holmes McGuffey Historical Society asked that it be maintained. Commission Chairman Lee Fry asked that at the next meeting, legislation be prepared to return the preserve to the society. Three people living on Boardman's Pinewood Drive asked the board to reconsider building a parking lot between Pinewood and the East Gulf Hike and Bike Trail. Trees have already been removed, though no construction contract has been issued. And a new police union contract with Mill Creek Park Police has been ratified. Officers will receive pay raises of 3%, 3%, and 2.5% over the next three years.